G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a little sort of an experiment today. I haven't done a flip and drag with some negative space for a very long time. So I'm going to have another go at it. I did one, actually it was more like a dirty paw with negative space, probably about 18 months ago. And it was one of my favourite paintings ever. It's hanging up in my lounge room, my living room. It hasn't got wonderful cells. Um, you know, it's really sort of wavy, watery looking, um, but it's beautiful. Love it. So just going to sort of work on that a little bit. My pouring medium is my usual, 30% glue, 70% uh, 70 glue, 30% water. I'm reading backwards. <laughs> And then I've mixed my paints 50-50. So in the cups I have got 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. So it's 500 grams of mixed paint for this size. This is a little card, 30 by 40 centimeter or 12 by 16 inch card. Now instead of doing a white negative space, I'm gonna do aqua negative space. So these cups at the back here, my four cups, they're going to have oil and I'm going to layer them in the cup and then that one is going to be my negative space. So I'm going to use my spot on treadmill silicone. And I'll do, what will I do? Three. One, two, three. I think I'll just do three in each. Give that a good stir. The two blues I did have uh, a little bit less paint because they're so thick so I did 50 grams of pouring medium to 40 grams of paint for this cool blue and for my navy I did 45 grams of paint it just needs to be thinned a little bit the other two were fine at 50 50 have I got enough paint so I need to keep that one aside because that's my negative space color so let's layer these guys in um let's pour why not goes over the top of the other colors anyway doesn't it in goes the navy And then some turquoise again. Well, it's a light turquoise. This is actually my turquoise mixed with white to give me this colour. And oh, and a tiny little bit of cobalt blue as well. Just to give it that sort of a beautiful aqua pale turquoise colour. yet how I'm going to do this pour. I've been thinking about it. I guess I'll just wait and see what happens once I flip the cups out. But I'm planning on just pouring the negative space colour in lines somewhere in the painting and just sort of letting it all blur together a little bit before I torch to bring the cells up. No barking you guys. Settle. Dogs under my table again. There's always someone in here with me when I'm painting. Someone I mean by the four-legged barking type. They just like being with me. You guys have got indoor pets, you'll know what I'm talking about. They just want to be with you all the time, don't they? Okay. Um, now there's not much left of this, I'm just going to drizzle it over the top, make sure that each cup gets some. Mm, about the same, I think they're all about the same, got the same amount of paint in them. And you know, I do like my blues. And I thought I'll throw the little bit of lime in there 
just to add a little bit of brightness and a little bit of difference to all the blues. So I've got two blues, a medium blue and a navy blue, and then I've got this aqua, which is, you know, a bluey green, and then I thought, well, I'll go the opposite, or continue with the green, and have that line, but not a dark green, just the light green, so that was kind of my thinking, they're all sort of bluey green tones. Right, let's, now I'm going to do a flip of drags, so I'll do that. Actually, this is where I might pour my negative space colour in now, rather than afterwards after I've flipped them over. So the colours are deep space, that's my navy, and then the other blue is called cool blue, and then there's peacock which is my aqua, and then the lime is just a colour I made myself. It's just green and yellow, equal parts green and yellow. Now this one has got no oil in it. Let's just pour some through here. Do I want a bit on the side? Yeah, why not? A bit on the side. I'll leave just a tiny bit in case I need that. I don't want to have to tip too much of it off. No point putting it there if you're just going to tip it all off. It needs to be a statement. Why am I using my fingers? Where's my tool? There you are. That can stay. It'll kind of blend. I hope I don't lose it all. So that's that's the, one of the other things I was thinking. If I pour it on now, these flip cups might cover all that negative space colour. That's why I thought I might pour it on afterwards. We'll see. If this doesn't work, then I can do it again, flip my cups over, and then pour the negative space colours sort of into it, and let it mingle that way. So I'll do it this way. I'll probably do it the other way, and see what happens. Because I want to do a big one, but I've got to get it right first before I do the big one. All right, let's do it. Flip and drag. I might turn them around a little bit so that each one's slightly bit different. See how the aqua is blending into the aqua? That's good. So I've got a little bit left. I won't use that all now. I'll see how I go because I don't want, as I said, I don't want to lose my negative space colour. Oh, that wasn't very well done, Julie. Let's get you down there a little bit, paint. Who's making that racket? Is that you, Zoe? Stop it. She says, who are you talking to, Mum? There's no one here. I better just growl and make sure there's no one here. Tell them to back off. Isn't that right, Zozo? Okay, so that's looking pretty. I'm certainly getting my aqua negative space. Let's hope I don't lose it all. And I guess because I've poured it in first, these colours will kind of blend into it, maybe. I've certainly blended there. All right, let's torch a little bit. Not too much. I really don't want it too busy. I want to have a lot of background. A big bubble there. I'll have to pop that with my skewer. I finally went and got a new skewer from the kitchen. <laughs> Kept forgetting to get one. The other one was kind of rounded on the edge and used it that many times and then I sort of do this to get the paint off and I blunted it. Are you a bubble? Yes you are because there's lime underneath you. Where's that other one? There. I'm popping them and there's little bits of lime coming through. How gorgeous is that? All right, so I do need to torch a little bit, certainly no more there, a lot came up there, a bit here, a bit up there. Right, 
give that a minute. Is that something in there? There's something in there. Look at that. Let me get my tweezers. A little bit of dry paint, no doubt, off the edge of my one of my paint jars. Gonna get it out now, hey? Rather than later. Get some nice little really pointy tweezers and keep them. Make sure you always put your hand underneath. You don't want anything dripping in. That was a big blob, that one was. Alright, how are the cells going? Quite busy over here again. It's trying not to be too busy. A little bit up here. So seeing if there was anything sort of under here. A few more have popped up. This lime, my goodness, look at that. The lime has come up and surrounded those cells. That is so pretty. I don't think there's anything under here though. Let's have a look. Oh, there is. There is some cells coming up under there. There are some cells, I should say. All right, put away the torch, woman. Let's do this. My corners are already covered, so I don't have to worry about that. And I really don't want to lose too much of that negative space off the side. I don't mind here because it's blurring into that, so I can go a little bit there and lose some over that edge. That'll be fine. So we want a little bit of movement in this pore. Actually, maybe I will take that side over a little bit just so it's not so matchy-matchy. Is that all you guys? I won't bring you in here with me anymore if you're going to growl while I'm videoing. Hey? It's not very, very well mannered, is it? Okay. Now, I'm not sure whether they're too, too stripey. I'm going to help this along a little bit, just in here. So with this part, I don't mind if it's a little bit more sort of wavy. Oops. Sliding around, slip sliding away, bring you back. You gotta remember to hang on to your card if you're using a card so it doesn't just slide right off your cookie cooling rack. That's looking really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's different for a change. Yes, nice having a little bit of. I really like how this aqua's blended straight into that aqua there. I haven't got that definite line like I've got here. Same here, it's blended in. I think if I finish the cup with aqua, start with aqua and finish with aqua, I shouldn't have that line. Because mm. the colour that you finish with is usually what you get as your lines between your, your cups, I've found. Now I wanted to see if I can open this up a little bit here. So bring the weight of the paint there. Let's see if we can go. Oh, this is moving. This is not moving. Look at that. It's not wanting to move. I'd have to put my hand under there. I'll just get this bit to come down. Just a bit. There we go. Probably losing all my negative space off the side now, aren't I? Come back. As long as I don't lose it all, that's okay. You can see what I'm doing? I'm automatically straightening up my lines. Where I said I wanted a more of a wavy look. This is going to take some practice. I'm just not used to doing wavy lines. This seems to be stuck down here. 
get stuck on this aqua. I guess my negative space colour needs to be a little bit thinner because that's kind of stuck there on that, that corner there. Let's see if I can get it moving. see how that's looking. Wow. I love that. Love that. So it's gone off a little bit on the side there and it's blurred into the turquoise there. We've blurred into the turquoise here. It's really pretty, isn't it? I think I probably would like it to be not so blocky. So next time I might do the flip and drag and then pour like the negative space in around it. Stop it, you guys. Zoe, last chance. You won't be coming back. No, no, no. Um, let me see if I can get that yellow blob off. But these, I mean, these are so pretty. I've got a dark green, not that I've got dark green in here, but I've got a dark green surrounded by lime. I don't think I can get that. No, I'm going to leave it. You know what I say, if you're 70% happy and 30% that you don't like, don't risk ruining your 70% for the sake of saving the 30%. Rightio. Um, Zoe, stop it. I don't know what her problem is. This little corner here, I'm going to see if I can open that up just a touch. Because it looks a little bit squished there to me. So I'm going to pop my hand under here. And that's a good thing about having this card. I can keep this straight and just tip that corner. No. See, it's it's getting stuck on it's getting stuck on my turquoise as well. So I definitely have to make my negative space colour thinner next time. But um, yeah, wow, I really like that. Really like that. And isn't it nice having a, a bit of a change from white, a white background? What's that? Something in there again. If you've got something in there, try to get a tweezers and pick it out because if you end up using like a skewer or a little tool or something, you're probably going to just push it around and then it makes it worse. So just try and get some little tweezers and actually just pick it straight out. Okay. Now let me just check my composition. Make sure there's nothing else I need to to do with this guy. Let's see if I can open the middle up just a touch though. Alright, stop fussing, hey? I can hear you. Stop fussing. Right, let me get these gloves off. I'll just actually fix up these little corners. I've got a little bit of this um, aqua left. I haven't used it all. Just fix that up where I've stuck my fingers in it. Beautiful. I really like that. It's just got enough yellow, hasn't it? Well, it looks like yellow. This navy, well, not the navy, but the dark blue, that would have been nice if I'd had some more of that. So maybe in the actual flip cups, I probably don't need so much of the turquoise because I've got a lot of it in the background. So cut down on the turquoise in the cup. Layer the turquoise, the last layer in the cup. Um, so that will give me more of a blurred edge. That will give me a little bit more of the dark blue. But apart from that, I think that's really pretty. All right, let me take you in for a close-up. Actually, I'll get rid of these gloves. 
Usually I can wear my gloves a few times, but they're really messy. I'll zoom you in there for a bit of a close-up. So really like that. Hmm, beautiful. Just a little bit more of the dark blue and then I'll be happy, but the cells are good. I'll take you right down so you can have a look at the um, some of those cells close up because the ones that have got the lime rings, they're really pretty. Isn't that blue gorgeous? Cool blue, it's called. Pretty cells, look at the lime green surrounding those cells there. They're really pretty, aren't they? Over there where there's no light against dark, there's just sort of light on light. I'm not going to get much in the way of rings around cells there. You need your light on your dark and your dark on your light to, to really make your cells work. So just remember that. But overall, I think that's pretty good for a first attempt at a flip and drag with some negative space. What do you think? Do you like that? Definitely go again. Um, and as I said, reduce the amount of aqua in my cup just so that that dark blue can show through a little bit more. And I think I'll probably have a go at different colours of negative space now that I'm on a roll here. Try a few different colours and try and sort of blend it a little bit so I haven't got this, those dis three distinct blocks. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that video and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.